Chanel creative director Karl Lagerfeld recreated an airport departure lounge at Paris's Grand Palais for his latest spring-summer collection. The aim, he said, was to revive the glamour of an age when taking a plane was still an extravagance. This is the idea, the way it should be. And in a way, it was like this, but then they were smaller and flying was another business. Hmm? But this is the kind of place for takeoff to all kinds of direction in all kinds of situations. A double-breasted pink and green checked jumpsuit opened the show along with Chanel's own take on the small wheelie suitcase, the Coco case. A retro-cut trouser suit in tweed hinted at a time when air travel was still glamorous. The aviation theme was evident with airplane and departure board prints on several outfits. There was plenty of glitz in shiny silver evening tops and jackets. Accessories included large aviator sunglasses, baseball caps and silver gloves. Italian fashion house Valentino transformed Paris's Tuileries Garden into a primitive wonderland with its African-inspired collection. Sporting tight braids, models marched down the catwalk to the sound of drums, snaking their way through a pitch-dark room. Long, floor-sweeping dresses and skirts featured prominently in the collection by designers Maria Grazia Curie and Pier Paolo Piccioli, who clad their models in colors of black, brown and red with plenty of fringe, beading and tie-dye. The upcoming spring summer collection by Christophe Gaillarmet was entitled Strange Fruit after a song by jazz icon Billie Holiday to whom the young French designer paid tribute. White was theatrical on silk taffeta maxi gowns or textured on lace mini dresses. Pastels came in different shades and the collection had a distinct vintage feel with 60 skaters dresses and maxi gowns in a palette ranging from yellow to peach and fuchsia. Even the elaborate hairdos had a distinct retro feel. <laughs>